So let's talk about purposes of meiosis. So you came from, you've got six sisters? Five. Five sisters in you. Yeah. No brothers? No. Right. You came from a sperm mm -hmm. and an egg. How many chromosomes are in the sperm? Well done. How many chromosomes are in the egg? 23. Well done. Now these, both of these cells are called haploid. They're gametes. Another example of a gamete is pollen. Now these came together and fertilised and they produced a diploid cell. A diploid cell had how many chromosomes in it? Excellent. Now, the haploid cell has n number of chromosomes. The other haploid cell, the sperm, had n number of chromosomes. This produced a diploid cell with two n numbers of chromosomes. Now we knew n equals 23. In lots of other organisms it's, it's totally different numbers. Now, a chromosome is a length of DNA with a load of genes on it. And it's the same genes on each chromosome. And the chromosomes are num numbered in size order. So chromosome 1 is the biggest, chromosome 2, chromosome 3, chromosome 4, chromosome 5, and so on. Up to chromosome 23, which, 22, which is tiny. You've also got sex-determining chromosomes, which are an X, which is pretty big, and a Y, which is absolutely tiny. So you haven't got it because you're a girl, so you've got two X chromosomes. Follow that? Yeah. Now, you went from being this fertilised cell and then you produced, so you had a, a fertilised cell, single fertilised cell all those years ago, and then that divided by a process called mitosis. And mitosis has interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Interphase involves DNA replication where the chromosome gets pulled apart, gets replicated semi-conservatively and produces a chromosome that's made of two chromatids joined together by a centromere. Now in mitosis those chromosomes line up on the middle on what's called the equator of the cell and then you have spindle fibres that grow out so this is metaphase in the anaphase this splits down the middle in anaphase the chromosomes get pulled apart and then in telophase you get a new nuclear membrane forming around. Now, if we look at a sperm, and this sperm has got one chromosome in it, and we have an egg, it's got one chromosome in it. They come together, they fertilise, they produce a zygote, which has two chromosomes in it. Now that goes through interphase and produces a cell which has a replicated chromosome which is two chromatids joined together by a centromere and another one so that's prophase of mitosis then they line up in the middle centromeres pull apart then it splits So now, you can see we've gone from a cell here, which had, this was N, which is 1, plus N, which is also 1, giving us a 2N cell. We've carried out mitosis, so we ended up with two 2N cells. So you've got the two daughter cells being exactly the same as the parent. So this is important for growth of individuals and for replacement of new cells. However, 
it's no good for sexual reproduction. Mm -hmm. In order to reproduce sexually, you've got to halve the number of chromosomes. Because if you went for two plus two, it gives you four. Yeah. Well, you need to end up with two, because you started with two. So you've got to take these chromosomes and you've got to create two cells, each of which is going to contain just one of those chromosomes. So of a pair of chromosomes, only one of each of the pairs goes into the daughter cells. So you could either have this chromosome or this chromosome in the daughter cells, which will be the haploid gametes. So meiosis is the story of how you go from those two chromosomes to end up with just one or the other chromosome in those cells. Because meiosis is a reductive division which halves the chromosome number and ends up producing genetic variability in the gametes. Mm -hmm. 